Back with us on the Sports Mag Zone. West Indies Vice Captain Jermaine Blackwood believes the squad now in Sri Lanka is good enough to register a first ever test match win for the Caribbean team in that South Asian nation. Since their inaugural tour in 1993, the West Indies have played 11 tests in Sri Lanka, losing 7 and drawing 4. On their last visit in 2015-16, the Caribbean men lost both tests, but Blackwood believes the current side can change history. Yes, I was here, I don't remember if it was 2016. Um, my first series here, we lost both, both, both two test matches and, you know, did, um, didn't feel too well as a youngster that at that time came into the team. And um, now looking, um, looking forward to these two two games. Um, I think we're a very good team and this team is ready to go. And I think we're, you know, we are ready to, to break the shackles um, of um, winning some winning some games um, in Sri Lanka this time around. That's the second in command of the test team, Jermaine Blackwood. Now in the meantime, Trinidadian opener Jeremy Solozano is in line for his maiden test cap. The 26-year-old, who's likely to partner Craig Brathwaite at the top of the order, comes in with a first-class average of 23.41. In 40 first-class matches, he has 1,686 runs, two centuries, and eight fifties. Really dwelling on my stats too much in first-class cricket. This is a new chapter, a new career, in, in a new stage in my career, so... Yeah, I think I'm, I'm looking forward to having a great career in Test cricket. And once given the chance, I will I would like to prove the selectors right by giving them good performances. Right, so that great man of journalism, Fazir Mohammed, is in Sri Lanka getting ready to do some work on the game. Early morning in gold with Faz wide awake and, 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 and bright eyed ready for action. Fazir, welcome to the Sports Mag Zone. So gracious of you to share your early morning with us. I don't know how much, how bright-eyed I am, but uh, it is past four o'clock in the morning. Uh, we have to, what we have to do. Excellent, sir. Let, let, why, why not start with, with, with Jeremy Solazano? Because uh, in regional cricket, he's been a favorite player of mine as I've watched his progress. Those numbers, though, perhaps wouldn't allow me to go somewhere and beat my chest about his credentials as a test player. But in terms of the raw material and the mental ability to succeed at this level... Does he have it? Well, the number says that he doesn't. Um, the, the, the point is, and he said it correctly, he will want to vindicate the selectors picking him because uh, we can be honest about it. If you're averaging 23 point change in our original first class game with the standard as low as it is, uh, it tells you that he has a young man, obviously with ability because he's been in the West Indies and 19 team. He's been around at senior regional uh, level for about eight years. Famously made his debut in a, a Trinidad and Tobago victory over Jamaica at Sabina Park in 2013. And he's been around in the West Indies A team. And of course, that 72 in the trial match certainly would have hurt his scores. But it is also a measure of the paucity of talent in the opening batting position, among other batting challenges for the West Indies. So, so the numbers aren't encouraging. And it, it keeps in with a trend of really ordinary performances at the top of the order. So it's, it's really up to him uh, to, to prove everyone wrong, to prove those numbers wrong when that first test match gets underway Saturday night, late Saturday night, Caribbean time. Faz, from 1993 till now, when the West Indies have been touring Sri Lanka, we've gone there with all sorts of teams. One of the things that are true is this. Most of those teams have had at least one player who could, could be classified as a Windies great or perhaps even a Windies legend, the Laras and so forth, who've gone there. Those teams have never won a test match. Now, the Sri Lanka team has not always had Murali and Chaminda Vaz and Aravinda de Silva and company been that kind of strong. What is it about Sri Lanka that the West Indies find it such an unhappy hunting ground? Uh, two factors. Uh, one, uh, the West Indies tend to struggle uh, in conditions which would be spin-friendly. Uh, and while in goal, uh, when the last time the West Indies were here, it wasn't exactly a spinner's paradise. Sri Lanka got over 400 runs in their only innings, they won by an innings, but they had Rangan Ahira, the left-arm spinner, who was the, not, not exactly the ideal successor to a Mutaya Moralitra, nobody could be, but uh, he was coming to the end of his career as well, picked up 11 wickets in that match. And interestingly, 
Uh, the Sri Lankans now have a, uh, someone who's brand new to Test cricket. Uh, he picked up 11 wickets on his debut against Bangladesh in April, and uh, he's going to be one of the the bowlers challenging the West Indies. To, so, to answer your specific question, I think it's a combination of factors. The Sri Lankans are far more confident, far more competitive in their home conditions, and the West Indies seem uh, a far more timid, far more wary team when they are playing away from home and certainly in Sri Lanka. And last time around, they didn't have any of those great names, as you mentioned, but they probably came the closest to winning a test match, a low-scoring one, the second one in Colombo. They needed just over 200 runs to win and were routed again by the spinners and lost by 72 runs. So they might take some encouragement from that, but overall, they really need to work extremely hard on getting their batting act together. Yeah, Faz, and let's talk a bit now about the captaincy of Craig Brathwaite and the importance of winning these two tests against Sri Lanka. That, that's going to be extremely difficult. I think more than anything else, uh, you want to see the West Indies be competitive. Uh, when the West Indies played Sri Lanka seven months ago in the Caribbean on flat pitches in Antigua, uh, the West Indies did extremely well. They batted through the last day of the first test to ensure a draw, and they, uh, then Sri Lanka had to do the same on the last day of the second test to ensure a draw. So I still made there. Uh, there's a bit of weather around there. There are some showers forecast during the course of both test matches. We'll see if that will have any impact. But as far as the West Indies going there with the expectation of victory, of course you want to win. Of course you have to believe you can win. I don't think any team seriously will go into any match thinking, well, okay, we need to avoid defeat because that, that, that really is a defeatist mentality. But for the West Indies team itself, with the, the, the players that they have available right now, it really will be a tremendous challenge for them. Uh, probably like what the Darren Sami team achieved uh, in 2010 when he had come to the role of test captain. They drew all three test matches. All three were rain affected as well. And that was seen to be a pretty decent achievement with a, a Sri Lankan team that still had the Muralis, the Jayawardenas, the Sangakaras, and so on. So uh, if the West Indies were to come away with a drawn series, that would really be an outstanding achievement. Fazir, the producer is running us out of the studio right now. But, but I have to ask you, this, just names only. Who is likely to be that outstanding batsman and outstanding bowler for the West Indies on this tour? I'll have to say Craig Bathurst because that, this is his style, this is his type yeah. of game. And from the bowling side of things, I think Jason Holder is going to be a key man with the ball, with the type of conditions I expect him to come up trumps. Top stuff, my friend. All the best. And thank you for staying, for, for waking up early to talk to us. No problem at all. Thank good, you. good, good. Fazir Mohammed there speaking to us from Gaul in Sri Lanka, the venue for the first Test Sri Lanka and the West Indies. Break time. Back with more after these.